Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhypermachine.com. Guys, in this video, now we will continue with post method. So in our previous videos, we have discussed how you can get started with Playwright, right? We have seen how to make API call using Playwright and we have seen only get method. And we have seen a couple of very important methods, how you can capture body, headers, JSON body, status, status text and headers array. And then we have seen assertions, right? Now in this video, we'll move further and I will show you how you can make a post call and I will show you two different APIs. So this is one where we will make one post call to this authentication API where we will be passing user data, which is username and password. And you will be getting token, right? And then I will show you one more example where we will take some complex data and we'll pass headers. And we'll see how we can capture the response, which includes our booking ID. So get, we have seen, I will show you a post and in the upcoming videos, obviously we'll talk about put, patch, delete, and so on. So follow the series till then you will be getting a lot of insight. Now, in order to show you this, I will be creating a new spec file. I can create another test in this spec file as well, but just to show you from the scratch, I'm going to create another spec file from scratch. We'll create a new test and then we'll see how to make a post call. But in case if you want to continue with the same file, just add another test and you can continue. So let me create in the test folder. I will be creating, let's say post call dot spec dot js. Let's start. First of all, I will be importing. I will import test. And I will be importing expect from playwright. Now, once we import, let's create our first test. I will say test. Then I will write the test name. Let's say the test name. I will keep get API. Or let's say post call example with token and booking ID. You can give any name according to your test. Now this example is focusing more about the token and the booking ID. Now I will be creating one asynchronous function. So I will say async function. We don't, don't have to give any name to this parameter. Now, if you don't want to go with normal function, you can go with arrow function as well. It's totally up to you. So this request fixture comes by default with Playwright. Whenever you have to make any API call, you will be using request fixture. This one extra curly bracket, which I will remove. So this is our test. Let me quickly check whether the test is running. We don't have anything test pass, obviously, because we don't have any statement. Yeah, so let me remove everything. Let's keep everything straight. So let's continue with first easy example, then we'll go with complex example. So this is our call command. Basically, we need to make a post call. So first, let's quickly say request dot. You can see we have a get which we have done already. This time we'll go with post. And now if you see the official documentation, the moment I put curly braces, sorry, pair of parentheses, the first argument is the URL. And then you can pass all these additional options. You can pass data, which we will pass today, right? And we will also pass headers. Let's start with the URL. So URL is this. Now the second important part, if you see here, we need to pass hyphen H means header. In order to make a post call, we need to pass this header. The key is content type. And the value is application JSON. Now, how do we pass this header? Now, pay attention. You put comma. And after putting comma, put curly bracket open and close. And now you can start passing data, headers, form data, and any other option that you need to pass. Now, I will type headers, right? After passing headers, I need to pass one object. So, I will put curly bracket open and close again and now I need to pass key and value so key is content type 
and don't worry about syntax i will be giving you this code snippet you can directly copy paste but i would recommend just follow with me write exactly what i am writing after colon again put double quotes which is basically for string and i will pass application json so we have already passed the header now what about data so once you're done with the header part right what you need to do put comma again and now type data now this data that we are going to pass is basically our json right json so i can pass this as a json object directly so i will copy this now if you want directly you can pass but i want to make it simple i'm going to create one variable here and let me call this as const i will say authentication data and i will just store this here you can directly pass as i said but just to keep it simple i will store this data in a variable and now this data i'm going to pass so i will copy this and i will paste here as it is and your post call is done we are making a post call to this particular url we are passing one header if you have multiple headers you can pass multiple headers too and when it comes to data we are passing username is admin and password is admin sorry password 123 now this particular method that we have used will make a post call and it will return you the response so you can see it is returning you the promise and it will be api response now since it returns a promise we have to use await and now let me store this into a variable called response you can give any name i'm giving response now let's quickly check first of all what is the status code so i will use log i will say response dot status now this status returns number we don't need await here so let's execute it executed and i got 200 now you must be wondering why it is giving 200 right ideally it should be 201 but this api which we are using it returns 200 okay and it returns me token so we got 200 now let's say by any chance if i make any mistake for example the correct username is admin but i'm passing one two three right admin one two three obviously this is invalid username this time if i run it is still giving me 200 so we'll see the response data too for example if i just print status response dot json now we'll see what is the return type this returns promise I need to put a wait. Now you can see the response. It says reason bad credential. So many times, see guys, this is a sample API. Ideally, the response should come under 4xx category, right? But since it's a sample API, we have still got 200. But understand that the moment I said, give me the response, it says it's bad credential. Now, if I pass this correctly, and if I run this now, you can see we got token. So when it comes to testing, please make sure you verify the status code. You verify the content. And in our case, we got this token, which we were expecting. Now I will quickly add one assertion that this token should not be null. And guys, moving forward, I will be using this token in the further APIs. For example, if I have to update any booking, you can see we need to pass token here if i need to again call this update api i need to pass token and for delete also i need this token so i will show you this how you can pass data from one api to another api but since we're going through basics let's quickly verify that whatever token we are getting it should not be null every time this token will change guys okay you can see this time is this d75454 I run it again this time it is 0 7 3 and so on so as of now we are capturing and we are printing it moving forward we will be using this token in the next api 
Now let's say I need to check whether this should not be null. So what I will do, I will be storing this in a variable, let's say response data. Now I will be using this expect. Okay. So when we import it, we import a test, which we have already used. Now I will be using this expect. So I will say expect. Now this response data. Now one thing to notice guys, this is returning me JSON object, right? But I need to check this token. So using dot property, I can access this token. So I can say response dot token. And now I can put my assertion. So you can see we have to be, and we have so many things to be, to be attached, checked, close to defined, disabled. These are basically for web automation. And if you see, to be null. Now this is a negative scenario, right? It should be null, but for us, it should not be null. So you can put dot not here. That this token that we're getting, which is 070, whatever the new token will, it should not be null. If I run it again, it should pass. So this is our first post call. And now I can continue with the next API, which is basically create booking. So concept is still same. Instead of data passing username and password, I will be passing this lengthy payload. Rest everything is still same. It is still a post call. We will pass the URL, we'll pass the header. Now I can continue in the same test or I can create another test. So I can copy this and I can say post call example with booking ID. So if I come to this API, which is create booking, it is still post call. So request dot post. Now this time the URL got changed. See guys, now don't focus on the framework part. Okay. We'll talk about framework as well, how you can create a framework. But as of now, we are going to pass this URL. How to reuse the code, how to optimize the code will come secondary once you understand these basics. So post call, I change the URL. Header part, it is still same. Content type application JSON. Now this data, I can copy. And instead of this data, I will remove this data and keep it here as it is. If I want to do formatting, maybe I can format using tab. So I have formatted the data and instead of saying auth data, I will say booking data. So I can use this variable now and I will pass here. And what I will do before I write this expect, I will print this. Let me print the response data. Let me minimize this. Just focus on this test, which is making a post call and creating a booking ID. So we'll print the status, we'll get the JSON and we are printing. Let's execute it. And here we go. See guys, now we got 200. Let's quickly check. If I come down and check the response. This is exactly what we got 200. Okay. We got the response which includes booking IDs. So they have given sample booking ID as one. We got sample booking ID 4357. Now, whatever booking details we passed, right? Jim Brown 1112 with the same data, the booking got success. Let me change this. Maybe I will keep Mukesh last name, put funny total price. Let's say $300 deposit paid to true. Check in, I will keep maybe 2026. Check out 2026, maybe in 30 days. And break additional needs, maybe dinner. Let's execute. And yeah, we got another booking ID this time, which is 4888, along with first name, last name, and so on. Now the question comes if I need to validate that booking ID should not be null. 
plus whatever details I pass. For example, if I pass first name is Mukesh, the response should come with first name is Mukesh. Here comes the assertion part. Now, in order to check the booking ID, the whatever response I got, I can capture booking ID. Let's say if I need to capture first name, I will say booking dot first name. If I need to capture, let's say check in, I can say booking dot booking dates dot check in, right? Now, how we can do that? Let's say if I directly want to check the booking ID. If I say response data or let me print together response data dot booking id see i am able to capture booking id right 1302 now i can put my validations now this is what i want i will say expect this booking id should not be null because the moment it is null our validation will fail so I will say response data dot booking ID first dot not then I will say not to be null to be null that's all so that is our first validation for booking ID now I also want to check the response which I'm getting Let's say first name should contains Mukesh, right? So this is my expected. So I will first get the actual one. The actual one, I will say booking dot first name, booking dot last name, booking dot total price, booking dot deposit bid. So I want to check if I'm passing first name is Mukesh, the response should also contains first name is Mukesh. So I will say expect response data dot booking dot booking dot first name. Now this will be my actual one which I am directly capturing. Okay, from response, get the booking, get the first name. But it should be same as what I'm passing. So I will say to be now if I want I can directly say Mukesh or I can say booking data dot first name. So I will say booking data dot first name. So obviously this will be Mukesh and this will be Mukesh. If they both are same it will pass otherwise it will fail. So first I will show you with positive scenario. Right? The response which I got from the server contains Mukesh. But let's say if I change this, maybe I will say it should be Mahesh. Now if I execute this, here we go. It says it failed. Expected was Mahesh, which is this, but the one which we got from the server is Mukesh. So this is how you can put validation. I will say it should be same as booking data dot first name. So guys, I'm putting only two validation remaining validation. I will give you as part of assignment. I wanted to verify that last name should be the same, which you have passed. The total price should be the same, which you have passed. Same goes for other fields as well. And right now I'm only printing the status code. You can also put validation here. How you can put validation. This I have shown in the last video. That your status code should be 200 or whatever as per the api okay so to quickly summarize we have created basically two tests one is to generate token and we have added one validation token should not be null then i created another test where we are creating user and putting validation in the upcoming videos i will talk about how you can make put patch delete how you can pass data from one API to another API and obviously multiple examples. So thank you so much. And if you're new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel. If you face any issues with API with Playwright, let me know in the comment section and I will be seeing you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Thank you.